style Georgian door and frame and there's a bit of an existing problem of it sticking a couple of areas just here so what I've decided to do is if I just open this door you can see this area where it's been catching on the door pulling the paint off been going on for a while this and what I've done on this side is with my sandpaper I just lightly sanded this edge till I come through to the burr wood and then with a the Stanley blade ran down the corner there just to cut through that paintwork because this will be old paint underneath and it might be quite dry and flaky so if I was to try and do anything with this then the chances are it would crack round either way and cause more damage so now that I've sanded that edge and cut through there I can just get my shave hook and draw it down that edge and take all that paint off Now this is smooth, I'll just concentrate on sanding these down and I'll just take a little bit off around this hinge, looks like it's been taking it off here as well, so I'll just give it a sand. Both these areas now, I've got less of a gap, but I think I'm going to have to tack it all off on the casing, all the way up. And we see down at this bottom one as well not too bad but when I open the door just on this back edge I've still got a bit of a lip of paint so I'll get me scraper on it again and draw it up this edge and clean it all off but see all the hinges I've cleaned back give them a good scrape and a sand so they won't stick here and all this has been sanded back and then really fine sandpaper and now that's ready for priming so I'll just get rid of this paint on this side now all this edge is stripped and sanded you'll be able to run a piece of cardboard down this gap without it getting caught so that's good enough for me now to get couple of coats of paint on that start with a very very thin primer just to harden off the grain and then I can give it another light sand and that'll be good be able to finish it you can just see that area that I'd shaved back before just prime that up that's looking okay there I give that a fine sand and then this is going to have two coats of satin wood but you can see the difference there at this stage I'm not after opacity 
I'm just after sealing the woodwork with a very thin coat of primer. So down here, the other patch that was repaired. Now that may want a little bit of filler on it, but that's not a problem. What I'll do is I'll coat it all up with satin wood when this is dried and give it a light sand then. And if there's any filling needs doing, I'll just put some filler on there then. I can touch it up when it's dry and then coat up again the whole door. But this will be getting two coats. The last little bit down here now. Um, and literally, I, I don't want to pile it on. Just get a little bit on. Remember, don't build up any of those thick edges because that's what creates this sticking. So it's not necessarily a matter of getting thick layer of paint on. It's just building up that opacity. So then overall, you get that neater, flatter look. I'll close the door again now. And we can see where the wet area is. I won't have a problem now with that sticking. That could be fine. Now you could take the door off, but this is an old door. It's going to be a heavy door. Lots of glass in it. So, yeah. Better to try and do something like this rather than attempt to take this off on your own.